Yeah, did you see her guest profile? It's like a mile long. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did she just say that hotels keep profiles on their guests? Yes. Yes, I did. And yes, yes, we do. <laughs> If you have ever stayed at a hotel, and even better, if you are a member of a major hotel chain's reward program, there is a profile on you, and we see everything. Now, before I scare you and make you never want to stay in a hotel ever again, I promise that hotels actually make these profiles for really good reasons, and one of those main reasons is anticipatory service. Now, what is anticipatory service and what does it look like? It's exactly as it sounds. We are trying to anticipate your needs and accommodate them before you've even stepped foot in the building. And what does that look like? Well, let's say that every single time you go to a hotel and you've been coming to hotels for years upon years upon years, every time you come, you always ask if you could please have a room on a high floor away from the elevator. And then once you get to the room, every single time you call and you ask for a couple extra towels and a couple extra pillows. Those requests should have and probably have been written down in your profile every single time you've asked for it. So let's say that I see that you're coming to my hotel and I notice that you always ask for those things every single time you come. Well, when you walk through the door, I can say, hey, great news. We have you on a high floor away from the elevator. And then when you get to the room, you see that we already have sent up a couple extra towels and a couple extra pillows. So you don't even have to call and wait for them to be delivered. That's anticipatory service. And hotels do this because they want your loyalty. They want you to pick them and choose them every single time you travel. I worked for a franchisee of a major hotel chain. Part of my job every single morning was to go in and take a look at the notes and the guest profiles and see if I could spot any patterns and provide anticipatory service before the guests even arrived. As you can probably guess, we also use these profiles to uh, keep some eyes on some naughty children. <laughs> Every single time we had a guest complaint, we had to go and write in their profile about the incident and we had to write in if we compensated them, what we compensated them with, and the monetary value of that compensation. And trust me, with that huge backlog of information from every single stay that a guest has ever had, we were absolutely able to sniff out who genuinely was just unlucky when they stayed at hotels and had weird things happen to them and who made it a habit to always find something wrong with the hotel and or maybe even um plant some issues themselves in order to get compensation oh yeah that happens interesting how a guest somehow encountered a mouse in every single hotel room they stayed at across the entire continental US over like 10 or 12 hotel stays every single time. Somehow they, they encountered a mouse, supposedly. Mm, mm, sure, honey. <laughs> oh yeah, hotel workers, we see you. But also we see you. You can use this as a tool for your own travel. And if you do find yourself traveling a lot and you're always having to call and make the same requests over and over again for amenities or room placement or things like that, you can even go to a front desk agent and politely ask if they wouldn't mind noting on your profile and maybe flagging that request that says, hey, every time this guest comes to a hotel, they really prefer it if they could have this kind of room or these amenities put inside it that would be great. And then you're more likely to get what you want every time you go to a hotel. But it is not a guarantee. Request and guarantees are very different things. Thank you. This has been my TED Talk. Goodbye. <laughs>